Hola, welcome to Butterfly Spanish. Me llamo Ana, and in today's lesson, we're going to learn about the eating habits in Spanish. Yes, so in Spanish, we have certain verbs and nouns and words that differentiate between I, uh, I eat or I have breakfast or I have dinner or I have brunch. So for instance, you will learn that in Spanish, It's as if you were saying, I breakfast, I lunch, and I dinner. <laughs> It is used as a verb. Although there are some nouns like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For example, if you go to a restaurant, you see this breakfast, lunch, and dinner's menu, right? We have these verbs that represent uh, the action in English. So you will say in English, uh, I have breakfast at eight and I have lunch at 12 p.m. and then I have dinner at 7 p.m., correct? Well, in Spanish, you would say, well, like breakfast at 8 a.m., I lunch at 2 p.m., and I dinner at 7 p.m., and maybe on Sundays I have, I brunch at 12 p.m. Do you understand? Well, very good, you don't understand. That's why you're here. Por eso estás aquí, para aprender español. Y... Vamos a empezar con nuestra clase. Tarán. Muy bien. So we have here three verbs and a fourth verb that I wrote smaller because it might not be as popular. ¿Correcto? Bueno. Desayunar. Desayunar. Comer. Y cenar. Breakfast. Lunch and dinner. But look at this, I'm saying to breakfast, to lunch, and to dinner, because these are verbs. Muy bien, I have a fourth verb, el cuarto verbo, almorzar, almorzar, it's like brunch, something similar. But it might be, maybe not as popular as, are the other, uh, as the other three are, but still important, so I put it in purple. Muy bien, en morado. I want to watch my lesson about colors. Muy bien. So first, let me tell you. In Mexico, for example, we eat three times a day. I mean, most people do, other people don't. Of course, I'm not generalizing. But in general, the eating habit is that you have breakfast, then you have lunch, and you have dinner. So when I went to visit uh, a sister um, that I have in Canada, I found out that they have kind of like a, like a very, very small breakfast and then like a brunch or a lunch and then a dinner. But it's not like the quantity that we have in Spain. So I kind of changed my diet. You probably see that transition in my videos. <laughs> very good. So let's start. Usually, You're going to have breakfast between maybe 6 a.m. until it's not noon, before noon, correct? And breakfast consists of, could be eggs with beans or enchiladas or enfrijoladas or uh, what else, uh, hotcakes or um, waff, waff, waffles? No, no waffles. In Mexico, there are no waffles. So you're eating like eating... Uh, your breakfast, your coffee, with your bread, with your eggs, your scrambled eggs or your Mexican eggs with tomato, jalapeño and onions. Very good. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so waffles. I said waffles, no waffles. And they would say, say waffles. <laughs> waffles, no waffles. <laughs> Muy bien. So then you have a Sometimes on Sundays, for example, or Saturdays, where you're like more like, oh, lazy, and you get up late, and you just enjoy the day, you may want to have almuerzo, el almuerzo, the, the brunch, el almuerzo. That's around 10, 11, and it's heavier. Maybe like enchiladas with rice and beans and bread and coffee and milk with the coffee and some sweet bread and unas donas, unas donas o unos churros. O no me acuerdo, pero algo así. Después vas a comer. Around two, three, you get hungry. Tengo hambre. Y vas a comer. To lunch. Comer 
pueden ser unos tacos, unos chiles rellenos, un, uh, un bistec a la, uh, asado o something bigger, something larger. Sometimes it even starts with a soup and some families even have a dessert. Muy bien. And then at night you're going to have dinner. So for instance, si estás a dieta, if you're on a diet, si estás a dieta, you probably want to skip dinner. <laughs> ¿Correcto? Pero en mi familia y muchas familias cenamos. Muy importante, cenar. And so let's start with these verbs. See how they conjugate and talk a little bit more about these different verbs. Muy bien. If you see, desayunar, almorzar y cenar at end with a are the first conjugation of Spanish. So you probably can go to the dictionary or your Spanish book and see how they are conjugated. But here we're going to go through it. So you practice your pronunciation and we're going to talk about the pronouns, acerca de los pronombres también. Muy bien. Vamos a empezar. Yo desayuno. Tú desayunas. In some parts of South America, they say vos desayunas with an accent in the last A. Vos desayunas. Vos desayunas algo. They would say in, in Argentina. ¿Correcto? Vos desayunas algo. Pero en México o en Colombia van a decir tú desayunas. Now, you have the formal you, usted, y él, he, y ella, she, desayuna. Yes, the same conjugation, the same verb for these one, dos, tres personas. El mismo verbo, tres personas. El mismo verbo, desayuna. Usted desayuna temprano. You breakfast early. Muy bien. Nosotros, we, mi familia, nosotros desayunamos. Desayunamos. Muy bien. Y en España, ellos dicen, vosotros desayunáis. Desayunáis. Vosotros desayunáis con el acento en la A. Perfecto. Seguimos. Tres personas. Again, otra vez. Ustedes, plural. Ellas, they, females. Y ellos, they, males. Pon atención. Vosotros desayunáis y ustedes desayunan. It is the same thing. It's just that this pronombre with this verb is going to be used in España. Y este pronombre con este verbo se va a usar en Latinoamérica. ¿Entiendes? ¿Te queda claro? Is it clear? Entonces, you can pick depending on where you are or where you want to speak. ¿Vosotros desayunáis o ustedes desayunan? Now, the same verb, the same ending, the same conjugation is going to be for these tres personas, ¿correcto? Ustedes, ellas, they, female, ellos, they, males. Desayunan, el mismo. Muy bien, vamos al siguiente. Comer, tu lunch. <laughs> Comer. Yo como, tú comes. But if you were in South America or in Argentina, you say vos comes. Vos comes con acento en la E. Usted, formal, come. Él, he, come. Ella, she, come. Muy bien. Seguimos. We, nosotros comemos. Nosotros comemos. Nosotros comemos muy tarde. We lunch very late. Sí. 
si estuvieras en España o si tú estás en España, puedes decir, vosotros coméis. Sí, vosotros coméis. Y si estás en México, no vas a decir vosotros. No, vas a decir ustedes. Ustedes, you, plural. Men. El mismo verbo de ustedes, plural, the same verb as in you, plural, se usa, it is used, para they, females, and they, males. So you, plural, they, females. They, males, we're going to have the same verb. They are mejores amigos. No son primos, son hermanos. Perfecto, they are siblings. So, ustedes, ellos, ellas, comen. Vamos al siguiente. Cenar. To dinner. To dinner. Mi favorito. Sí, me gusta cenar. Me encanta cenar. Pero yo detesto desayunar. A mí no me gusta desayunar. Me tomo mi café y vámonos al trabajo. Muy bien. Very bad habit. Don't do it. Just I do it. But you don't do it. It's bad for your health. Cenar. Yo ceno. Siguiente. Tú cenas. Vos cenas. Si estuvieras en Argentina, tú dirías vos cenas algo. Vos cenas algo. <ríe> oh, mi, mi acento argentino. Oh, malísimo. No lo aprendas. Tú cenas. Usted. Formal. Cena. Él. He. Cena. Ella. She. Cena. Seguimos. Nosotros. We. Cenamos. Vosotros. Cenáis. Cenáis. Con la. En la. C. Oh, my Michael, como siempre, no sirve, como siempre. Vosotros cenáis y ustedes, sé más vosotros, pero en México o en Latinoamérica, cen cenan. Ustedes cenan, vosotros cenáis. Diferente en España y en Latinoamérica, ¿correcto? Y ellos cenan y ellas Cena. Ahora, recuerda, a veces vas a escuchar ellos y hay una mujer. Sometimes you'll hear ellos y no ellas, even though there is a woman in the group. Why is that? ¿Por qué? Bueno, porque en español muchas veces si hay muchos hombres y una, dos o tres mujeres, se sigue usando el pronombre ellos. Pero si son... But if there are many women and one man, don't ask me, but you still use the ellos. <laughs> porque, porque es parte de la lengua. It's like how this language works. I think it should be different. If the majority are women, you should say ellas. But it is like that. So you usually of a group of like mixed Uh, genders, you say still ellos. Perfecto. O maybe what I do to avoid that, you know, you seem like a strict gender for a group. If I want to say they, I say esas personas, those persons. You can also say instead of they, ellos, y they, ellas, you can say esas, those, personas, personas. So just Just to the persons, agrega la A, a the A, personas. ¿Perfecto? ¿Entiendes? ¿Te queda claro? ¿Is it clear? Muy bien. Por ejemplo, lo que puedes hacer with these verbs is to tell your friends. If they ask you about your eating habits or if they ask you, si te preguntan, hey, do you want a cake? Like, oh, no, 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 estoy lleno, I'm full. Estoy lleno, I'm full. Porque, because I 
breakfast at 7 a.m. Or I had breakfast at 7 a.m. Porque desayuné en pasado, in preterite, in past, I had breakfast at 7 a.m. That's why I don't want cake. I'm full. Estoy lleno. Porque desayuné a las 7 de la mañana. Tú puedes decir, por ejemplo, yo almorcé a las 10 de la mañana. A 10 in the morning. Yes, you can say that. And you can say, I had lunch. Yo comí a las 3 de la tarde. Y you can also say, I have dinner a las 7 de la noche. So you can say in the present tense as the one I, I taught you here. Yo desayuno, yo ceno, yo como, yo almuerzo a las 3. When you are using the present tense, is because you're telling your eating habit. This is my schedule. I have breakfast at this. That's my schedule. When you are telling someone what you did that morning or that past evening, then you're going to use the pasado. Yo desayuné, yo comí, o yo cené. Perfecto. For the conjugations and pasado, you can watch my other lessons about that or you can go to your dictionary and see what is the past of these verbs. And esa es tu tarea. That's your homework. Tu tarea. Today, you have homework. Hoy, tienes tarea. Muy bien. Now, I'm going to just speak quickly about almorzar. Almorzar has the same ending as desayunar y cenar. Pero hay una diferencia. There is a difference. Pon atención. You're getting distracted now, eh? I see you're getting distracted. Wake up. Muy bien. Almorzar, when you're conjugating it, you'll see, or if you're looking at your dictionary, you, good, smart Spanish student, I'm sure you have your dictionary right on your hand, You're going to see the O. Oh, is this one of the verbs that like to be rebellious? Siempre se revela. They don't like to be like the same people. You know, they, they like to be different. See, you'll probably have friends that they just like to be different. They don't want to be the same. They want to be rebels. They just, they just don't follow the order. They try to make us, make our life more difficult. Sí, pero... Nosotros los vamos a derrotar. We, we're going to eliminate them. Los vamos a eliminar. La O, la O, va a cambiar. It's going to change for the UE. Almor, alm, almorzar, the verb, the infinitive, the root form, is going to be yo almuerzo, almuerzo, like the cows. You know, they say, mm, okay. Almuerzo, muy bien. Tú almuerzas, perfecto. Remember, the U is like moo, like the cow. Almuerzas. O si fueras de Argentina, dirías, vos almorzás. Sin la U, con la O solamente. Usted, you, formal, él y ella almuerza. Y los demás. The rest for nosotros, vosotros, ustedes, ellos y ellas, they are going to follow the same order. You know why? Because this verb realized, you know, I cannot be so rebellious. Like somehow I have to get, get along with my cousins because we, be, we are part of the same family of the eating habit verbs. So it changed because in the last, with the last pronouns, con los pronombres plurales, You'll see that it says, nosotros almorzamos. There's no u, ¿correcto? Vosotros almorzáis. En España, ustedes al, almuerzan. Oh, see here, the verb changed its mind because it's going to be 
otra vez, almuerza. Sí, bueno, ni modo. Sometimes they gotta go back to its nature, ¿correcto? Lo que tienes que acordarte es, almorzar, it's not a so common verb. It's more special. Why? Well, I think most people go to the office and they don't go and have breakfast, have brunch and have lunch and then go home and have dinner. Then, then they won't get paid, right? They have to have like, they have to make that like uh, uh, smaller or just say uh, eat like a fewer times than the other people. That's what I said on Sundays or on Saturdays where you have like plenty of time, then you have almuerzo. Sí, puedes almorzar. Pero durante la semana, during the week, uh, maybe not. Or maybe on special occasions, ¿correcto? That's what I put it in purple. So, almuerzo, it's brunch, which is probably from 9, to 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. Y no es desayuno, no. It's like a bigger, larger, heavier desayuno. Even though I think breakfast in Mexico is quite heavy. <laughs> But uh, that's a different story. So I hope you enjoyed my lesson. If you liked my lesson, suscríbete a mi canal, Butterfly Spanish. You can also donate to my channel and you can keep learning Spanish. Bueno, hasta pronto. Cuídate. Nos vemos pronto.